Nobody knows what I'm thinking. I'd, I can make faces and I can behave and I can put off a vibe, but no one really knows what I'm thinking or feeling unless I share that with them. And you know, with our kids and our employees, we do this a lot. Um, they know what to do. He knows the right thing to do. He knows what he needs to get done. When's the last time you told him? And when's the last time you talked to your employees about why we do the things we do here at this company? And when's the last time you said, hey guys, anytime this situation comes up, this is how I would like you to respond. This is how I would like you to respond to them. This is how we need to handle things internally. That communication is essential. We can never just assume that everybody knows their job. That's the best way to let bad things happen within your company. It's just to assume everyone knows what they're doing. You know, we have to communicate. We have to check in on them and say, hey, how are you feeling? What are you thinking? And what do you think about this process? We have to get their input, right? With our kids. Hey, do you understand why we have these rules? We need them to understand why we're asking them to do the things they're doing. We need to explain to them why we want them to do this because it's going to produce these results and these results are positive because blah 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 we have to communicate we have to tell these people those things we can't just assume oh he understands why i'm asking oh he gets it he knows why we're doing this he or she may not they may have no idea and we only find that stuff out by communicating with one another you know, I, I can walk around looking depressed and looking sad and looking angry all day. But if I really want to address that, I have to learn how to open up, ask for help and receive support. And so it's really important that I know how to do that rather than just putting off a vibe and hoping that someone comes to my aid. That's, that's, not, that's not a realistic way to approach life. How many times have you gone to church, the gym, the store, or wherever you're regularly visited, your your frequently visited locations or whatever, and you see the same person. You see them all the time. You never talk to them, but you see them all the time, and they always have this angry scowl. They always just look so upset. You're like, man, that person's got to be angry. I don't want to mess with them. But then you talk to them, and you discover that they're just the friendliest person ever. But you didn't know that because you assumed that because they look this way, that they must be that way. We have to communicate to connect, and we have to connect with one, one another to understand each other. So let's take the first step towards better understanding each other and learn how to communicate more. I hope you guys have a great week. We'll see you next time.